Okay, so we're going to take a look at an app by Mobile Montessori, and this is called Dinosaurs Montessori Approach to Paleontology. When you come onto the home screen, you get um, three different options on the right hand side the lessons, the dinosaurs, activity one, and activity two. But before we look at that, let's go ahead and look at some information. To enter the screen, you just have to answer a simple math problem on here, so we'll do that. And it takes you to a screen that shows you how the app works and kind of connects you to the social media of the company. So it tells you about part one, part two, and then part three. But I'm going to show you that in the video. But it's good to have in case you come back and you're not sure how to use the app. So when we open this, we'll click on dinosaurs. And lesson one is uh, basically um, information all about the dinosaur. And if we stay on this one here, you can see we have... Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus here, and it's a beautiful image of it with... Uh, showing the comparison in size to man and if you click on the plus sign it'll go into a high definition image for you so you can look at it more closely on the right hand side we can pull up different types of information Styracosaurus which means spiked lizard had a large horn on its snout and other large horns or spikes around its frill these were thought to be used for defense or communication with other dinosaurs and you can go down these and look at every different part. Styracosaurus was 18 feet or 5.5 meters in length and weighed about 2 tons. Styracosaurus ate mostly plants. Styracosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. And then it shows you where the fossils have been found. And then you can click through the dinosaurs up here simply by scrolling backwards and forwards and go on to any dinosaur that you'd like to look at. And uh, T-Rex is my kid's favorite, of course, so they look at this one all the time because um, he's scary. Um, and that's part one. So once you get to learn all of the dinosaurs, which is the important part of learning the names, you can go on to lesson two and you can learn parts of the dinosaur. And if we go with Tyrannosaurus here, you've got three to choose from, um, you simply click an uh, image at the top and you can click the audio head and then if you click location it shows you where that is so you have to learn the body parts and where they go on the dinosaur and you go through them body like that and you can go back to a complete image and go back out again and you can do that for those dinosaurs down there go to activity level two we've got puzzle shapes and activity and if we click on this one here you'll see that we are looking for the objects that go that is flashing and once you find them feet. you just touch them and it tells you what they are in this case the feet eyes body so again you're learning all of the body parts uh, for the beak dinosaur frill tail and you continue to do that until you complete the dinosaur and we go back out sorting shapes activity is the next one and what we do here is we have the name of the dinosaur at the top as you can see up here this image flashing right here um, and we're trying to find that and the dinosaur that goes there and we simply Pteranodon. touch them and they go into their spot Pachycephalosaurus and obviously, I don't think there are many adults out there that know the names of all of these dinosaurs, including myself. But my kids probably will learn these before I do by using Dried this Triceratops. And you continue through that. And once you clear this screen, another screen of dinosaurs will appear as well. So there's even more dinosaurs to learn. And if we go back out again, we'll go to activity level two. And this is where um, it becomes a little bit harder because you're looking for the word alone. So back, back. through. Flippers. Back flippers at the top is up there. It won't speak unless you touch the word. Once you do, you have to figure out which ones are the back flippers. Back flippers. And then you would touch them and put them in place. And then again, we have body. 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 And you would go through that until you complete the picture of the dinosaur. Go back out. Let's look at sorting names. And this is where it gets hard for me uh, because we have to figure out which one is the Stegosaurus from the ones below. And I actually know this Stegosaurus. One. So I got lucky. Taurosaurus. I am not sure which one the Taurosaurus is, but we'll take a shot at it. And it's not that one. Taurosaurus. It happens to be that one. Plesiosaurus. And you go through that until you complete it. And again, once you have completed that screen, it goes on to another screen of dinosaurs. Plesiosaurus. 
Ankylosaurus. Um, for you to do the same thing. But the great thing is about it, when you go back out to the main home main page, uh, you can learn all about those dinosaurs from here, simply by scrolling through and looking at each one in beautiful high definition graphics. So it's really great. It's a lot of fun and my kids are begging to play with it all the time. Um, check it out. Dinosaurs, Montessori approach to paleontology.